Today is my favorite day. He made it a special day. I love tomorrow. Yesterday, but today is my favorite day. I hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are. I'm also enjoying mine as I introduce you now to another lesson still on number patterns, but now these ones we are counting in fives just forward. It's your teacher, Annunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Now, do you remember what we did counting in ones, we did counting in twos, counting in threes, in fives, and we were doing it forward and backward. Someone remind me the rule we said when you're counting in fives, what happens? Uh huh. Counting in fives in forward direction, you just increase by five. Just increase by five. We are saying when we count number patterns for one, increase by one. For two, increase by two. When you're counting in fives, you increase by five. For example, I have been given here a number zero. So if I increase zero, which number will follow from zero? I continue. Now my zero is here. So I say And when I increase by 5, from 0, I will go to 5. Uh -huh. Then I again say 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 10. Very good. Uh -huh. We move again. This is now forward. Mm -hmm. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Have you realized something? Uh-huh. and 20. So let's see. Our number five one was here, then the second one was here, then the third one was here. How many did we increase with? So we are saying one, two, three, four, five. You see? Another one, one, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh, another one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you can realize that we are increasing our numbers by five. So if you're given counting in fives, we said the rule is the number must have a zero or a five. So if I'm told count in fives, count forward in fives between numbers zero and ten. I'll just know if this one has a zero, this one must have a five and the next number must have a zero. So if I'm told between five and 0 and 20, I'll still say it has a 0, a 5, a 0, a 5. So the next number must have a 0. Are we together? Are you getting exactly what you're supposed to be doing? Now, I want now to learn this when you're given the boxes. The difference is nothing. Are you seeing? When now given the boxes like this, don't say, now that one is in the box. I don't know how to do it. No. It does not change. What happens is just the number was 0, then dash, then 15, then dash. Come back to your numbers and increase the numbers by 5. So you say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. five. So the missing number here will be 5. Again, you count 5. So the missing number here will be 10. Uh -huh. Then again you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the missing number here will be 15. The box can be looking upright. The box can be drawn in the upright manner. Don't think the numbers have been changed. No, 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 no. The box can run from the ascending order, in the ascending order. And they have now written like this. And they're saying, count in fives. And then they're writing here, they're writing here, five, ten, dash, 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 and dash. The rule remains the same. So we are saying, if the number here is five, the next number must have a zero. So which next number follows a ten that has a five? You again increase by five, and you get the next number that has a that follows ten and has a five is a fifteen. 
Then from there again you count from 15, uh, increase by five steps. So you go one, two, three, four, five. And you'll find the next number that follows 15 and has a zero is 20. Uh -huh. Let's continue increasing. Which is the next number that follows a 20? The next number that must follow a 20 here, we have said the pattern is 5, 0, 5, 0. So it tells us that the next number here must have a 5. And which is the next number that has a 5 that follows 20? Between numbers 20 to 30, it is 25. Uh -huh, let's continue. Then, if the rule is 50505, five, five, the number here that must follow 25 is a number that must have a zero. And which number is this? The number that must have a zero here is a 30. So, have you seen whether the table is straight, whether the table is horizontal, whether it is vertical, whether it is diagonal? It must, for the rules must apply to each and every one of it. So now the question is fill in the missing numbers here. Remember we are also using the tables to show counting in ones and they've given here one, two and a dash and a dash. Then the next table like this and it shows that the numbers have been counted in twos but in the backward direction. They have here an eight a six, a dash, and a two. Then I've been given a straight one, but now this time round, it is counting in fives. Look at this. And my number now starts here, down here, five. Then this is a dash. Then this is a 15, and this is a 20. So they have been told, they have been told to fill in the missing numbers. What will happen? It is still the same same method. We are saying here we are increasing by we are increasing by one. So if I increase one with one, I get two. If I increase two by one, I get three. If I increase three by one, I get a four. Now we come to this one. What about this one? Where are we moving? Forward or backward? Forward or backward? Let's see. Eight, then six. Of course, you cannot leave eight and go to six, which means they are counting. Backwards, you look at your numbers and ask yourself, from 8, they went to 6, which means they skipped 1, 2. Again, we skip 1, 2. So our missing number here will be 4. Then we come to our last one, which says, fill in the missing numbers. First of all, ask yourself, are we counting in 1s, in 2s, in 5s, or in 10s? If the number is 0, 5, 0, 5, we are counting in fives. So we are saying from 5, we increase the number by 5. So we are saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our missing number here is 10. Any problem up to there? Anybody who feels like she hasn't gotten it clearly? I hope you have enjoyed this lesson and I'm looking forward to see you again in the next lesson. Same place, same time. Thank you very much.